so hello guys in this video i'm gonna show you how to create a notification so when the player picks up an item that we will show a notification widget that will pop up on the player screen we will dive into creating animations we will also refactor some codes in our items yeah so let's get started first of all i've provided you some assets here gradient left to right so we can just uh, drag and drop it into our content browser but before that let's create a new folder content browser here i'll create a new folder i'll name this gradient simply drag and drop this gradient texture here so here in content third person blueprint ui I right click create a new user interface widget blueprint user widget i call this wbp underscore item notification double click on it here create a new size box click on this one check on desired width and height of right set this to 400 by 50 here you can um drag an overlay type overlay and drag this it's gonna be full screen on the overlay here i'll create um image this will be the background make it full screen by checking on this two button here on the image set this to gradient left to right it's like that next one let's create a horizontal box also this will be full screen on this horizontal box i will set the padding left side to 20 okay next one let's create a size box here check the width and height of right to be uh 50 times 50 inside the size box let's create an image it, this image will be the icon so let's pick an icon here and let's name it ing underscore item icon uh, next one text login here make it center on this vertical alignment here here i'll set the padding to 15 on the left side i'll name this txt underscore item name and make sure you check the is variable here and we can copy the text here paste it into the digital box again I paste it onto the overlay here and here you will click on the right align horizontally set the padding of left side to be zero and i'll set this justification to be to be aligned text right here okay this will be the amount so we're gonna text the underscore item amount let's set the text to be let's say 99 here i'll set the right padding to be 2050 25 and 25 would be okay compile go to even graph create a new function i'll name this initialize widget on the input here create three new inputs the first one will be text i'll name this item name second one will be uh, texture to d here i'll name this item icon the last one will be integer name this item amount compile here we can set our item name first drag and drop it by holding control here set text goes into the item name here item icon it's going to be set brush from texture set the texture into the item icon here item amount will be item amount here set text copy that paste that set the target here and the in text will be the item amount here yeah i think you're good to go let's create an animation like a slide animation there actually i will increase the size of the height here 60 maybe and this one is going to be vertical alignment to be centered here compile now let's create an animation just click plus here if you don't see this window you can go into the window here and check on animations we create an animation let's call it slide open animation click on that like a blue outline here will appear that uh, indicates that you have selected this animation you're gonna click on the size box here scroll down you will see render opacity set this to zero and click on this keyframe to add a new keyframe for this property so you will see like a red dot appears in your animation track timeline here and then i will set the translation this is like a position of the widget this is the x value here 
and this is the Y value here. Set it to zero back. And here on the X here, I set this to minus 250. Click plus here. On the 0 0.25 mark time here, set this back to 10. Click plus. And I'll set the render opacity to be 1. Plus. And here on the 0 0.30, set the transition to be 0. So it will create like a bounce effect, like a small bounce effect as you can see. Yep. Compile. Go to even graph. On the initialize widget function right here, expand this animation, drag and drop this red open animation here, and type in clay animation. Just like that. Compile. And now let's go back to even graph. I'll create a new variable. I'll name this time before close. So we type float. Make it instance editable and expose on spawn. Compile. Set this to maybe two seconds. Compile now. We will uh, on the event construct here. We'll get this and hold D on the keyboard and click. It will create a delay here. Plug in here. Plug that. On this one, it's gonna be slide open animation, play animation. This is gonna be real first. Okay, then we will create another delay here. This will be 0 0.25. And on complete here, we will remove this widget from panel. Compile. Now we will go to our player hut here. This is from the previous video. So we're gonna create a new vertical box. Drag and drop it into the canvas panel. Here, this will be. Uh, let's resize it to 400 times 300. Set the anchor. This to be left side here. Hold Control. It will snap to this location on the alignment here y axis let's set it to 0 0.65 let's insert this widget into this vertical box so let's start with item notification oh we have to compile it first yep make sure you compile and save first before you uh, add it into the library because it will not appear here we can type item as you can see it will appear on the under the user credit here drag and drop it now you can see like the preview of your item here it's like that we can click on the vertical box here set the is variable to true i'll name this vb for vertical box underscore item notifications compile go to event graph on the event construct here i'll get the vertical box there i'll clear children I'll create a new function here. Name this at item notification. And here we can create a new widget. This will be WBP underscore item notification. Time before close. I'll just leave it to two. Return value here. I will uh, initialize the widget first. Initialize widget item name. We can drag this into the um, input pin over here. That we'll drag off our vertical box here. Hold control, add children, add, add child. Sorry, plug in there and plug the content into the return value here. Now, let's call our function on into the item here. So, let's go into our items. It's on, uh, it's on the blueprint actors. You can open each items there on the event on actor interacted here. Let's start with the grape here. Let's that let's start with the grip on the player reference here. I'll drag off and I'll type get player hard reference at item notification. Here on the item name, I'll name this grip. Item icon will be icon underscore grip. Item amount this will be one. Same as this. Uh, actually, let's create a function. Uh, let's create a variable for this. You can drag off this and promote this to variable. Say this amount make this instant editable and expose on spawn so you can modify it on the level compile and also this will go into the item amount here compile copy this do the same thing for banana convert to variable amount 
it's inevitable and it was on spawn. Drag this into the item moment here. Should be icon banana. I'll name this banana. File. Copy. Apple. Drag this one to player reference. Click here. Amount. This is editable and it's supposed spawn. This will be Apple and icon for Apple. Compile. Now let's do the last one for our chest. You can go into our BP and score chest here. On the I add items to player event here. It's a bit messy here, but uh, it's fine. And paste it. Uh, I added two banana, so I set item to be two banana to be two. Another one, oops. Another one for apple one. Like that. Drop this into the item. Update item style. Copy the apple here. Target will be player hot reference. Don't forget item icon, apple, item amount one, grape. Oh, copy the other one, copy the grape, icon underscore grape, item amount is two here. Okay, the last one, banana, add two banana, lock this back into the update item scan actually you can double click on the cable here and it will create like a reroute node so you can make it a little bit tidier I guess yep we can compile let's test it out when we interact with an item it will create like a notification there on the left hand side banana and grape Let's interact with the chest now. It will add a banana there. Let's restart the game. Another one, chest, banana, and apple. Yep, that's it for this video. It's pretty easy and straightforward. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you like this video, please give a like and a subscribe would be appreciated. If you have any comment or suggestion, you can leave comments down below. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. See ya.